Hey, what's up there, Oakland family? I'm gonna show you some drills today that you can work on your ball handling skills. Again, I'm not gonna do all of them. I will show you them, and you can feel free to use whatever drills you like out of this and just challenge yourself for a set time or set amount, okay? So, two basketballs. First one we're going to do is just two-hand pound, right here, keeping it low. Doing your best, head and eyes up. That's a waist level right here. Waist level pound. Then we're gonna go to shoulder pound right here. Alright. Now, down here on the floor, we're going opposite directions, just like this. From here, back and forth. You can do this moving as well. Drop the basketball, and then the basketball that's in your left hand is going to switch to your right. So drop, switch, just like this, okay? Once you get the hang of it, push it a little bit lower. You can do it walking. Okay, nice little drill. Next one, what we're going to do is um, two ball leg loops, okay? So for example, leg loop with one ball looks like this. Here, and I'm pushing that ball through in both directions. Okay? Left hand, it looks like this. Pushing through, opposite direction is this way. So, work on going as quick as you can with those. Next one, we're gonna have both basketballs now. We're gonna try that same thing. So, here, wrap through. Uh oh. Get my dribble. Here we go. And we're just gonna work on rhythm. Okay? So, I want you to push yourself to just see how fast you can do it, how tight you can have that dribble, okay? So for the first combo, all we're gonna do is just back, forth, cross, behind, okay? So looks like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, okay? One thing I want you to work on is once this ball comes back, I want you to hesitate for just a slight moment, okay? So it's one, two, three, four. Hesitate, you're gonna slowly lift up and then back into it. Okay, working on pace a little bit. Move back, try it with the other hand. One, two, three, four. Hezzy, one, two, three, four. Hezzy, one, two, three, four. Okay, working your way up. All right, from there, we're gonna switch um, and add another move to it, okay? So, it's gonna be back, forth, cross, behind, between. So now that ball's on the other side, and we're gonna continue the combo, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I messed up, all right? 
It's okay. So that's the other thing with these drills. Because you're moving so fast, you're having to really focus on what move you are actually doing. So let me do it right and show you real quick. Here we go. One, two. So, it's a good drill for you to work on. Another one you can use if you have some space is continuous behind the back, okay? You're gonna pick a straight line to follow. So for me, it's gonna be this court, this one that splits the court. When I push this ball behind the back, I get one dribble, and then I'm pushing it back around. Okay, so first I may do this walking. So, the more advanced version would be no dribble in between. So as soon as this ball hits the floor, I'm bringing it back around, just like this. Wrapping around, okay? So, I'm staying on that straight line, and I'm continuing to wrap that ball around my body. Right? So, it's a great drill. Work on ball control. Other favorite drills actually happens to be where you're on the floor. Okay, so what's going to happen here, I'll show you the side angle first. You're gonna spread your feet apart, okay? And we're going to work on using sides of the palm to, to uh, handle the basketball, okay? So, I'm here, and I'm going to bounce this ball without getting my hand under the ball, okay? So, hand is on top, and I'm having to handle that basketball from the side angle, okay? So, once you get the hang of it, you're going to speed it up. Then we're going to switch hands, okay? So, this angle looks like it from this way, using my left hand now, okay? So, I'm keeping my hand on top of the ball. Uh-oh. Here we go. So, it's a great drill for you to work on handling that ball from the side, okay? So, the other thing too is also working on some forearm strength. What I'd love to do at the end of the workouts when my legs were just gassed is straighten this arm right here and you're tapping that ball. So, you're going to give about 50 taps right here. After you get those 50 taps, you're going to go 25 taps per finger, okay? So, I don't know if you can see this right now, but I'm handling this ball with my pointer finger. After I get to 25, I'm going middle finger, keeping that arm straight, okay? You will feel the burn right here in your forearm, which is good. Then I would switch hands. So now with ball be in the left hand, I'm straightening that arm, using those finger pads to dribble that ball, 50 pounds, okay?